Ladies and gentlemen, I'm back with you once again. This time a Detroit Democrat has been censured and ousted by her own party. And the reason being, thanking President Trump. I'll get started with this after you hit the subscribe button, like, share, post your comments in the comments section below. I want to know what you think about this topic. And I want to know what you think about the Democrat Party. Let's get into this. Karen Witz, a Detroit Democrat representing the 9th District in Detroit and COVID survivor, has come out and thanked President Trump for him advocating for a drug called hydroxychloroquine, which she said saved her life. Now, she met with President Trump and Mike Pence in one of their COVID survivors meeting on April 14th at the White House. And members of her own party, made up of uh, 15 delegates in her area, has voted to censure and oust this woman. And she didn't do anything wrong. All she did was thank President Trump and gave him credit for saving her life. Now, if you're not familiar with hydroxychloroquine, it's a drug that's used to treat malaria. Now, I want to show you this clip of Karen Witsit on her response to all this uh, BS. There is so much more to this story, um, it, it is, and it's shameful, actually, on the Democratic Party. A Democratic state representative, Karen Witsit, calling out her own party. Now, let's be serious and use some common sense here. We spoke with her last week, and she laid blame on Governor Gretchen Whitmer, claiming she hasn't done enough. And Witsit said she had a conversation with President Donald Trump about it. The resources that we're supposed to have, he told me quite frankly, are supposed to come from the governor and that the governor is not painting the same picture to him or the vice president. That's the same tune Whitsett stuck to Saturday morning when she spoke with Fox and Friends. And I believe this is the governor has decided that she is going to slap me on the wrist by silencing me. And it's a shame, it's a shame that she's doing this. It's it's politics that is bad. It's shameful and disgraceful that these Democrats are attacking this woman. She's a survivor of COVID. They should be praising and supporting her, not attacking her. But that's what the Democrats do. Anytime someone comes out and has a positive message for President Trump, they attack them, they bully them, and they're eventually forced to resign or quit. But as we've seen recently, Vernon Jones in Georgia, he came out and announced his resignation, and then a day later said, no, I'm not resigning. I'm going to finish my term. I'm not going to let these Democrats bully me any longer. Now, in this resolution, these loonies from the left passed. They said she broke protocol going to the White House and meeting with President Trump and Mike Pence. They said she misrepresented the needs and priorities of Democratic leadership. And based on her recent actions and statements, she's chosen to be a standalone Democrat with the goals of a Republican. Now, right after Democrats started attacking this woman, President Trump came to her defense and said she's a smart and strong woman and that she should join the Republican Party, which I agree with because Republicans are more welcoming than Democrats. But unfortunately, she's in a safe Democrat district, so it would be difficult for her to win if she ran as a Republican. But the Democrat voters in Detroit area is getting fed up with these Democrats. I want to show you this short clip. He voted twice for Barack Obama, but in 2016, dissatisfied with the Democrats, he voted for Donald Trump. I wanted to send that message to say, hey, you know, I know what I'm getting with this guy. Um, you guys didn't, didn't do nothing here, and we supported you to this point. If there's anyone the Democrats should be outraged with, it's with Governor Whitmer of Michigan, who has done a horrible job at handling the coronavirus. She recently had to cancel a no-bid state contract for COVID testing because one of the consultants was a Democrat who recently came out and said he hopes Trump gets the coronavirus ASAP. Now, I want to show you what this fool put out on social media. His name is Mike Colehouse. If you have social media, look this guy up. Let him know how you feel about his comment. Now, I try to get along with liberals, but their mentality just won't allow me. Hit the subscribe button, like, share, post your comments in the comment section below, and check out my Teespring store. That link is posted below. Until next time, Dougie Red is out.